Jiwon Tianji here, playing a brand new game called Faster Than Light, or FDL for short. The game is a roguelike space simulator that is made by a company called Subset Games. I recently seen uh, What the Fuck Is by Total Biscuit, and this game really jumped out at me, and I found it quite interesting, so I felt like I might give it a bit of a playthrough. Now, I have already played... Uh, about an hour's worth of the game, so I didn't come in as a complete and utter idiot and not know what to do. So, without further ado, let's start naming uh, the ship. So, as usual, being a bit of a Star Trek fan, let's just go with the USS something rather. I'm going to go with a name that's stuck with me for a while. Ather whoop, not Caps Lock, please. Atherian. And it's just the name of, like, um... Well, if I was ever to write a novel or a, an RPG or a game or something, that's probably what I'd name the world. So I figure, you know, it's commonplace to name ships after worlds. So why not uh, use a, a world that would be familiar to me? Now, I'm going to rename the crew, starting with myself, because I'm an arrogant prick. Um, and then we'll go with techies. And we'll go with... Trinketti. Now, Trinketti, for anyone that's uh, seen Star Trek, will be a red shirt. Yes, I'm sure uh, Trink's actually seen what a red shirt is himself. Basically, it means if there's a fire on my ship, that bitch is going to go fix it for me. And I don't care if he dies. Now, later on, I will be getting more crew members. As you can see, there's a free slot there. I don't know if four is the maximum. I would imagine not. And if, as, as I do, I'll fill out the roster with, um, you know, like Sniglet, Psycho, and Ditter members and all that sort of stuff, depending on um, just how far I can make it on the USS Ethereum. Being a roguelike, once you die, you're dead. You have to start all over. So, let's get the game started, and I'll uh, give you a bit of a rundown on how it works. So basically, the story is you're carrying some vital information for the Federation fleet. You need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But to get to the exit before the Rebel fleet can catch you. Now, you can pause the game at any time by pressing space so you can assess a battle situation without the battle still going on, because this is a real-time simulator. Now, we're not actually fighting anyone in the first zone, because, well, that would just be mean. Um, basically, here's your hull, and as you take into battles, you will slowly lose, um, I guess you could call them health points or hit points, whatever. And the only way to repair them is to go to a shop and spend your universal currency, which is scraps, or, you know, like, uh, Fallout New Vegas has, um, bottle caps and, you know, gold coins and all that sort of stuff. Scrap is your money, and you can, uh, spend money to repair your hull at shops. Now, you can also spend scrap to upgrade your ship by pressing the ship button. And basically, you've got many different components to your ship. You've got your shields, you've got your engines, you've got your oxygen, you've got your weapon control, your med bay. And you, as you can see here on the right-hand side, when you uh, uh, hover over something, you've got um, it tells you exactly how many scrap you need. So for the first upgrade for the shield, I need 20 scrap. I don't get any bonuses. If I upgrade it again with another 30, I'll get an extra shield bar, or two, two shield bars. So that means my shield would be more powerful, which is what I'm t going to actually aim for first, because I like having shields for some reason. I don't know. Um, but, on the contrary, when you upgrade your shield, you won't be able to use it. Now, the reason that is, as you can see, I've got my reactor power. I've got three spare. So I have two weapons. I can power the Artemis missile for one reactor point, as you can see it went down, and I can power the burst lasers for another two. So that's both of my weapon systems going at the same time, which means I can't exactly power the engine to maximum. There's only one, there's, you know, I can't uh, go all the way because, you know, I don't have any reactor points left. I could unpower the Artemis missile when I'm not fighting, perhaps, and increase the engine. Like, vice versa, when I upgrade the shield, I'm going to need two more reactor points to use it, so... Uh, preferably, you want to have the shield running when you're fighting, so... You also, uh, therefore, want to increase your reactor power, which is uh, 20 scrap per uh, increase, I believe. So, without further ado, let's actually get on and continue on moving 
to the next zone and perhaps encounter someone. Now, top, middle, or bottom? I am going to go for the middle, I think. Now, we'll probably encounter some uh, drone or a scout. Yeah, an auto scout, exactly. Now, you've, you've got one of the rebels, autonomous scouts. <laughs> autonomous. I can't say that word for some reason. The ship's AI wastes no time in engaging your ship. So it's a very hostile game. Now, the ship starts to power its FTL drive. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Now, I've never had them get away from me because I've always killed them first. So I don't know exactly if that, like, speeds the rebel fleet up or not, but perhaps it does. So right away, I'm going to pause the game. <laughs> um, and since I've got one reactor point, I'll, uh, I'll power the Artist Miss missile. Now, I've got three crew members, so let's put Trinketti on the weapons control. Well, I suppose that's kind of a, a stupid move, but anyway, I wouldn't trust him with that. And I'm going to put Techies in the shield control. So, when you have crew members in specific areas, it, it actually increases the efficiency of an area. So, with Techies in the shield control, my shields will be more powerful and they'll repair quicker. Same with the weapons, they'll be more powerful and they'll uh, charge quicker. And of course, you want someone in the cockpit so that you can actually dodge enemy attacks. So I'll keep myself in there because I am the pilot, uh, or the captain, as it were. Now, I've got both of my weapons powered. So the first thing you probably want to aim for, I've got eight missiles. So I don't really worry about, I'm not, I'm not worried about wasting any. You normally get one or two after you defeat an enemy anyway. I'm going to go for the shields. You can tell all the shield by the S and like, well, sort of a shieldish um, crescent moon there. I love the music, by the way. So I'm going to aim for the shields. And it's, as it, the game is paused, you can see the little um, bar is not filling up. But this is great for actually um, getting the tactics going. You know, you do this and then you can manage your crew better. So as you can see, the Artemis missile is on the shield. And then I'm going to put the burst lasers onto, actually, yeah, put the burst lasers onto the engine because I don't want it to escape. So I want to destroy the engine as soon as I can. So let's unpause the game, let my crew members run to their respective areas, and as you can see, my weapons are charging up, and in a moment, okay, he's going to fire on my shields. Took a bit of a fire damage there. Okay, so let's pause the game quickly. Now, fire can... Well, I don't really know what it can do. I think it uh, lowers your oxygen level, which is not really a great thing. So, since there's no one in the engine room, let's open these up and vent all the oxygen in here out to space. And you might be thinking, that's probably not a good idea, but fuck it. I'm going to do it anyway. Um, so, as you can see, the shield is so, so powered over here. Red means it's down. Orange means it's... Uh, and uh, green, or actually rather grey, means it's in good good condition. So I've not taken any damage to my major systems, which is great. So I don't necessarily want to waste um, any more missiles. However, I'm going to fire my burst lasers at his weapons, and I'm going to fire my missile. It's fine. I'll I'll use a second missile for this particular encounter. I don't really mind because I've got I, I've got quite a few. I want to destroy his engine so he cannot escape. So let's continue the game and let our weapons power up. Okay, so I've taken some more damage, more fire. That's fine. But, oh, he got destroyed. Excellent. So, as you can see, I got two missiles back from that. So I essentially didn't waste any whatsoever. And I got 10 scrap or gold or however you want to say. Now, I also got one fuel. Fuel, uh, is that fuel? Yeah, that's fuel. I've got 16 fuel. Every time you jump to a new zone, you use one fuel. So, there's that. Now, let's close these, since that fire's been put out, and let the oxygen re-ventilate into here. I'm quite not quite sure if that does it real time or not, but we'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. Okay, the fire actually spreads. Fancy that. Let's, um, let's vent that to the atmosphere, please. Oh, shit. Get out of there. Uh, that's not good. Get it, get the fuck out. Let's open that up. Um, wow. That took a lot of damage. 
Let's close the med bank since that's not on fire anymore. Let's close that. And let's close off the uh, the airlock now. So, I don't know. Oh, as you can see, yeah, this, this has gone less pink. So, there's more oxygen in this room now. I could probably survive. Now, if you walk into a room without oxygen, yes, you do slowly die. Because that would make perfect sense. Um, now, ideally, since I hate Trink, let's go put him into the med bay and repair it. He's probably going to lose health slowly. Mm, actually, he's not. Alright, well, that's fine. I guess next time we can kill him. Uh, let's actually move Techies in there too, because since no one's taking any damage, that's totally fine. And of course, as you can see, Trink was healed up since the med bay is repaired and he's inside it, which makes sense. Now, let's move him back to the weapons and get the weapons repaired. And let's also get Techies to help out. Um, and just wait for this to repair. Okay, come on. Shouldn't be too much longer. Now we've got 20 scrap, which is alright. Let's move you back to the shields, Techies. Um, now, I've only got 20 scrap, so I don't really have much to work with. However, I can power on both my weapons, but I can't power on my engine to full capacity, so I might as well increase my reactor by one. Now, as you can see, I've got three reactor points now instead of two, and that cost 20 scrap. So let's increase my engine and turn both my weapons on. Although I really don't need to at the moment because I'm not actually in a fight. So let's jump to the next section anyway. Sector or, well, not a sector, um, just to the next system. Or, I know that um, this, is an, this is an entire sector, so I'd assume these are just systems. Now there's a nebula here. It will make the fleet pursuit slower, but will disrupt my senses. Let's go for there anyway. Danger. What does that mean? A heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at, at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with you, uh, with them, they fade into the nebula. Attempt to follow and help them, or keep your position. You know what? They're with the Federation. I'm with the Federation. I'm going to try and help them. You get lucky and you find them floating not too deep inside the nebula. Thrilled to be found by friendly, so they come aboard and abandon their wrecked ship. Oh, excellent. So we've got a new crew member. I... Eon, uh, what? Ion? What the hell? Is that even a human? What the fuck? Cr well, basically you hit ship and you can get your crew up. What the hell is a, a mantis? What the fuck? All right, whatever. That's fine. Um, disregard for individual lives led the race to evolution as a vicious, uh, vicious, vicious warrior race. So I guess that would be your Klingon. Uh, double damage in combat. Uh, 1.2 move speed and halved repair. So you're not very good at repairing things, but you are good when there is a boarding party. Let me think, where can I put you? That would be useful. Um, you know, even though he's not good at repairing things, I think I might put him in the O2 room. Purely because, you know, your O2 room tends to be targeted a lot because Without oxygen, your crew is going to slowly die. No shit. Um, so I put him in there. And I guess if I get boarded from the rear, he can protect pretty well. Although, see, if there was a subsystem here, I, I mean a major system, I'd probably put him in one of these two rooms so he could protect these uh, airlocks if you got boarded. But for now, I think the oxygen room is fine. Now, unfortunately, I can't rename him because I found him. I, I don't know if you can, if you if you buy crew members, if you can rename them or not. But uh, anyway, we've got no scrap, so let's just continue jumping. Now, the enemy fleet hasn't started reaching this sector yet, but it can be dangerous to head backwards. Um, soon enough, we'll actually see that. So let's move on to the next area. I could go... Um, could go northwest. I think I might go northwest because I, I kind of like nebulas for some reason. What do we got here? We got an auto assault drone. It appears they been positioned in the nebula to warn the enemy fleet. It's powering up its FTL. If it gets away, it'll warn them. Now, let's go, since we've got eight missiles, straight for the shield and the burst lasers straight for the engine. Now, see, there's no shop nearby, so I kind of don't want my hull to lose integrity. 
I might go for the weapons instead with the burst laser. Uh, because if you disable the weapons, they can't fire, and you can't lose any damage on your hull, which is great. Alright, he's firing something, and my shields are disrupted. Right, his weapons are down. Now, this is great. So, pause the game again. And let's fire for the shields with the burst lasers. Let's not use the Artemis missile, because there's no need. There's no need to rush the combat, because he can't attack. Let's just go straight for the shields. And since the Artemis missile is powered anyway... Oh, he's dead. Excellent. So, there we go. I saved myself a missile. I got some a drone part. Now... Drones, I think you have flying around your ship when you can actually get the system installed and it reflects uh, projectiles like missiles and uh, burst lasers and all that sort of stuff. Nine scrap, nah, that's alright, and two fuel. So, basically, at this point I probably would start selling some fuel if there was a store nearby, but there isn't. Now, my sensors were damaged, so let's move... Oh, shit, I didn't know it was on fire. Um... They're taking a bit of damage, but they should be alright. Yes, yes, okay, they survived that fire. That's fine. Okay, so the fire did in fact spread to here. Let's get this fire sorted out, please. Let's get all three of them in there, on there. Well, I might need to pull you out. That's fine. Let's check there's no fire next door. Because I don't, ha my sensors are weak, so weak that I can't even see inside my own ship. <laughs> so, um, not the best of things, but I'll make do. Now, who is this? I've got selected techies. Let's put you back on the shields and repair those. That's Trink. You can go back to the weapon system. And the shield is repaired, so let's get the captain healed up. And this little bastard did nothing at all, but anyway. Um, everyone's at full health. Let's put the captain back in his seat. And, uh, let's jump. Now, where should I go? So, I've already been here. So, explored location, nothing left of interest. So, let's go to an unvisited location. There's no shops nearby. That's, uh, that's not good. But, you take two pirate ships, one chasing the other. Scanners show the pursuer is a pirate. Now, until next time, I'm going to leave you with this... I'm going to save the civilian ship, or at least aid it, because I, I need scrap pretty bad, so I need to take down the pirate ship. But we're running out of time for this episode, so next time, maybe I'll save the civilian ship, or maybe I'll just die. <laughs> Who knows? Thank you for watching my playthrough of FTL Faster Than Light. Have a good day. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and post a comment below to tell me how I can improve. And feel free to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Dude, the fucking exit's right on the border. Shit. Ah, oh, fuck.